I'm going to show you how to wire up a, a two-put quad OR gate. Um, it's chip over here. It's going to be chip 74HC32. It's, and it's a quad two input OR gate. So here's the chip. And you got the notch here, a little notch here. So that, that's your pin one. So I put this on the breadboard between these one of these grooves here like so so I'm going to start with uh, my ground pin 7 so this is your ground use your banana lead and just put that to pin number 7 over here like so then we'll do 14 pin 14 we'll get the positive five volts there all right now we'll just use um, the first two for your input you can use any one of these four to matter it's gonna use pins one and two for the inputs so pin one I'm gonna put it to one of my you could use any one of these things, zero to eight, they're plus, they're plus five volts. So I got pin one to input zero. And I got pin two to one of the other inputs. All right. Then I just need my output, which is pin three. I'm just gonna put it to one of these LEDs from my output. So I know if, if I'm, if it's a, uh, Working or not. <laughs> all right. All right, so we're all good to go. Let's gonna turn the power on. All right, so. So he's saying, I got input one and two, zero and one. And my output I put here on this LED. So with an OR gate, all I need is one positive, one hit for an output, whether it's the first one, second, or both. So here, if I hit input, put this one on, you can see the LED went on. So if I shut that one off, go to the second pin, that also clicks on. Of course, if I put them both on, it's gonna stay on. I could click them both off. And that's that. That's pretty much how to do most of these um, NAND gate, ex exclusive OR, NOR, pretty much all the same pin numbers here, but I'll, I'll go through them all. So just keep watching, thanks.